A door frame has three members. There are two vertical members called posts and one horizontal member called head. This is the floor line. There is only one joint, the one between the head and the post. This is required to assemble the frame. The first important thing to be kept in mind is that the head comes above the post. This head will come above this post. Which means that the head rests above the post. In a window or a ventilator, there are two horizontal members, the head and the sill piece and the two posts like in a door. One important point, a frame does not take the load of any structural member like the lintel or the wall above the opening. The two posts come between the head and the sill piece. For any door or window, the members of the frame, that is the head, post and sill unit have the same cross section. Let us see this in drawings. The drawing on the left is the plan of a window and the one on the right is its section. The two posts of this window and the head and the sill unit have the same dimension of this rectangle representing them. By doing this, the joints between these members become clean. The cross section or profile of these members of a frame is not a rectangle as shown in the drawings previously. Let us derive the exact profile of these members of a frame. This is an opening in plan. The frame post is fitted on the jamb the shutter is hung to it by using hinges. The wall on left has plaster finish. This black dot is the hinge in plan. When we take a rectangular profile of a post and hinge a shutter to it, it will need a good workmanship to seal the gap between the post and the shutter. With bad workmanship, light and view can pass through this edge. Thus, we need to modify this rectangular profile to seal this gap. How? Let us now see this. Let us enlarge the same detail. To seal this gap, let us add a piece of wood on the other side to the complete length of the frame. There is one more problem. When the plaster of the wall comes and meets the post, 
a crack develops due to the shrinkage of plaster at the meeting point of the post and the plaster. This looks bad. We need a solution for this also. Let us cut out this piece of wood from the back side of the post so that the plaster can go inside the groove. And this becomes the final profile of the post. Since we need to seal the frame from all sides and the plaster will come on all sides, this will also be the profile of other members, that is the head and the sill for a window. Mostly, the section of a frame is derived from a rectangle. The frame is assembled in a manner that the longer side of the frame section, that is A, is parallel to the jam and the shorter side of the frame, that is B, is perpendicular to the jam. Some of the frame sizes commonly used are as follows. Sixty three mm by seventy five mm, sixty three mm by hundred mm, seventy five by hundred mm, seventy five by hundred and twenty mm, seventy five mm by hundred and fifty mm. The larger the span or height of the opening, the larger will be the frame section since the shutter size will also increase. Let us give sizes to the rebates made for plaster and the shutter. 12mm by 12mm rebate for the plaster. The width of the rebate for the shutter is slightly more than the thickness of the shutter. The depth of the rebate for shutter is 12 to 15 mm. This is the section through the head of an opening. Let us understand what are transom and mullion in a frame. Post, head and sill make the periphery of a frame. But if you need divisions within a frame to have a fan light or a ventilator or a combination of fixed glass and side hung window and similar such combinations, then transom and mullion help in that division. Transom is a horizontal member and mullion is a vertical member. You can introduce a transom or mullion in a window also to have a combination of operability. This is a window that has a transom on top to create a fan light. There is also a mullion that divides the fan light in two parts. The horizontal member is the transom and the vertical member is mullion. Let us make this detailed section to understand the profile of the transom. Mind you, the profile of the mullion will also be similar. This is the head on top, which has lintel above it and a rebate on lower part to support a shutter. 
Below it is the transom which has rebate for shutter on both the sides since the shutter of the fan light above and the window below both will come and rest here. Apart from the members being cut in section always make the members visible behind in this case the edges of the post and the jam behind. The shutter of the fan light will come here. The mullion has a similar profile as the transom with rebates on two sides to receive shutters. I will again repeat, a frame does not take the load of any structural member like the lintel or the wall above the opening. It is part of system that allows fixing and operation of shutters. Understand the profiles of a door or a window frame properly and make correct depiction of members in your construction drawings hope this video was useful thanks a lot for watching and do subscribe to this channel